Hey everybody, this is Taz. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. I'm presenting a brand new style today by Belle Tress. This one's called Devotion. It's in my favorite blonde, Butterbeer Blonde. The full rundown on this style you won't want to miss coming up. Devotion is a short to mid-length curly bob style cut lots and lots of bouncy classic curls. This is the Butterbeer Blonde color and I think we've all seen this but it's always nice to see how it's applied to the different styles because you can see some variation. On this particular style uh, this color is very light and very bright. It's supposed to be a light sandy brown, dark sandy blonde with and then it's heavily highlighted with an ash platinum. There's a lot of platinum highlights all over this one really lightens and brightens it up and it's very cool in tone because of that. All that is on a medium brown root. I think what I love about this style the most is really these really cute bouncy curls but it's also I find very easy to wear. I think that's made possible by this very practical four and a half inch bang. That just kind of separates off of the part and there's a bit of lift and contour right out of the box uh, no styling necessary overall the product page says it's about 10 and a half inches however i've measured it from the crown to the tip and it's about 12 inches on me and i think maybe that's just because they took into consideration the curl pattern and so forth otherwise there's very minimal layering on this style it does include a full temple to temple lace front left monofilament side part what they call a creative lace front feature and so let's take a look lots and lots of platinum highlights brought right up to that lace front and it bands right there at the front so about the first eighth of an inch is a solid line of highlight so you have to be a fan of that application of highlight and then the monofilament part goes nearly back to the crown Otherwise, the knots are very fine, and it weighs about four and a half ounces. This is a part of the Cafe Collection by Beltres. All of these styles are heat friendly, uh, up to 350 degrees. However, the manufacturer's suggestion is around 285. This curl pattern is something very different for Beltres. Beltres, and you think of Beltres Cafe Collection, you think of that shattered, very tapered, heavily textured looking curl and wave. This is more of a soft, bouncy, romantic, classic curl. It just appears as the, though you set the style in some large barrel curlers uh, and then rake through and deconstruct it slightly with your hands. It's very bouncy in its movement, it has a lot of buoyancy in those curls. They're very, very well formed and intact. And there's no tapering at the ends. So I absolutely love these curls and I think you can do a lot with them. A lot of times curls should only be finger styled and I, I recommend finger styling for most curly styles. Um, it's very hard to get a brush or comb through them. You end up with a frizzy mess. But that's not the case in this style. This wide tooth comb glides very nicely and without friction through these curls. So you can easily comb them out for more of a brushed out look. It still keeps its balance. It just stretches them out a little bit and gives you a completely different look. Now, as I described, this front here is exactly like this right out of the box. All I did was give it a couple of shakes, put it on and arrange it around my face. So it's jumped right off of that lace front without any using any heat from my hand or my usual methods. It was just like this right out of the box. So I have noticed that a lot of the Beltrus styles, the newer styles coming out, do have that built-in contour at the front. This makes it flattering, but it also helps keep it away from the face, especially when you have a little bit of longer fringe. Now this style here is uh, more of a heavier density than most of the Beltrus styles. As you can imagine, because these curls are not thin and tapered and textured, they're very much well-defined, big, soft, romantic curls, which is going to add volume to the style. It doesn't feel too heavy 
And like I said, it does lend to the body of the style. A lot of times when you texturize too much, you end up losing body in the style. The style also has a little more permatease than what you might expect from one of those texture tapered styles by Beltrez. So you're gonna find some right around that monofilament part, not at all heavy on the top. Very, very typical. Where, where it is the heaviest is at the back and at the nape. Maybe a little bit here at the temple, but not on the ear tab. So it is all the right amounts and all the right places to uh, support this curl. When I was unpacking this style, I did recognize that a lot of the dimensions were very similar to one of my very favorite styles called Editor's Pick by Raquel Welch. We're all familiar with that style. I think what really uh, brought that home for me was the fact that the Editor's Pick and the Devotion both have a four and a half inch bang and it is contoured in a very similar way. That makes it very wearable to me and uh, very comfortable and stays out of the face. A good everyday style. That's kind of where the similarities end on the style. Uh, the Editor's Pick has a lace front full monofilament top. The Devotion is lace front left monofilament side part. It's about the same length. I feel like Editor's Pick has more layering and also a, a, a more tousled deconstructed curl pattern as opposed to the more intact soft, bouncy, romantic curl pattern of Devotion. So if I can find some editor's pick footage, I'll go ahead and put it up and we'll do a side by side. mentioned I just got this out of the box I have not used any styling product on it I haven't used any styling uh, options on it it's just fresh for this styling segment my glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab I have not met a Beltrest style that did not work well with my glasses so I'll just take you through a couple of really cute simple styling techniques that will bring out the curl take advantage of the lace front it's meant to inspire you and show you how the wig moves and reacts.
Thanks for joining me for a look at the new Belle Tresses de Bolsillon in the color Butterbeer Blonde. See you next time on Tassa's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Thank you.